But you just did that thing to yell about. Yeah. Um, my understanding, uh, as I was, I was reading this uh, recently, is that because um, I was reading a thing about calculus, and that mm -hmm. the way that it was on Ars Technica, it was about the way that people teach calculus is that they always start with limits, and limits is like a good way of gaining a broad understanding of what you're building, like the metaphors of calculus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a bad way to start teaching it because it's a very hard concept. It's like teaching kinematics in physics. It's right. a very hard concept, but once you get that down, it's supposed to <coughs> pave the way for understanding the rest of like introductory, introductory physics, because you move on to force after that, mm -hmm. or at least they did in my school. Um, but this person was arguing that teaching calculus by starting with uh, limits is, is maybe too difficult, and maybe you should be starting with derivatives, because derivatives are those things you can teach an easy mathematical method of finding a derivative of something and then using that as a springboard to talk about why you're doing this and then building to what a limit is. And then, then I believe that also becomes when you'll be teaching integrals as well because integrals are not as straightforward as mm. derivatives. Mm -hmm. um, there are tricks to it, but there aren't like, isn't like a straightforward method is my understanding. And I was like, that's really interesting. Um, and, uh, but one of the things that also got talked about in this article is that, and this has been a thing because I've read Archie comics for years, Mm -hmm. is that math in the United States predominantly has always been, hey, so you're taking algebra. And, no, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm not taking algebra, I'm taking geometry. Well, no, I'm taking trigonometry, right? Like right. that always been right. the thing where it's like you're taking a single discipline, I guess, of mathematics as a single course and learning that one thing. And I've never understood that. Because yeah, no, we, we, we always learn those as kind of like integrated subjects. Yeah, yes. and apparently, according to this article, or according to the comments in the article anyway, that's how it is in the rest of the world. Math is integrated, is an integrated subject. You learn algebra and geometry and maybe some trig, but usually not a lot, but you'll tr learn like the Pythagorean theorem at least, mm -hmm. right? You'll learn those things at one time, and then those, those get expanded upon a little bit more in like the next year's course and a little bit more in like the next year's course. All of them do to try to teach you the simpler concepts and how they all interrelate and then move forward. And I, reading Archie comics when I was young, which are predominantly based on like what's happening in the United States, it was baffling to me to think that you like, oh, well, I'm, I'm in high school and I'm taking algebra because I don't get geometry. And I'm like, that's like surface area and perimeter and what a circumference is. And we were learning all that in grade six and I don't understand why you're taking Ge geometry is too hard for you to understand, right? Was right. Yeah. That's right. how that's always been. Well, like, how do you study trigonometry without knowing geometry, and how do you do any problem solving in geometry without being able to do algebra? So it must be like they must be prerequisites. They would have right. to be, right? But then yeah. if you take algebra in like grade ten, and then you take tr you you take geometry in grade eleven, I'm like maybe that's how they do it. But I was also like, but they kept talking about how they're taking algebra. And it's like, I'm not going to take geometry. I'm like, so you just take algebra again next year and algebra again like the third year. And it's like, I'm just doing the same stuff over and over. It sounded crazy. But Archie comics are locked in a time loop. So right. 